So, last problem na tayo sa ating unsymmetrical curve. A, for a forward tangent having a slope of negative 4% intersects the back tangent with a slope of 6.5 at a point B or vertex at station 4310 with, a, with an elevation of 240 meters. The curve will pass through point A with elevation of 238 meters at the station 4285. The length of the curve is 60 meters on the side of the back tangent. Determine the length of the curve on the side of the forward tangent. Determine the stationing of the highest point on the curve. And determine the elevation of the highest point of the curve. So, we have forward tangent and back tangent. Wait. Okay, ang back tangent natin is 6.5%. So, nakasamit curve tayo. So, 6.5. So, 6.5%. Tapos, yung ating uh, forward tangent is negative. Negative 4. 4%. Ayan. So, negative 4%. Okay? So, ito yung ating curve. Ayan. So, ito yung ating PVC, then this is PVT. Okay? Then, meron tayong length ng, ano, ng curve natin from the back tangent, 60 meters. So, ito. Wala tayong, ano, wala tayong L2. Yun yung nga sa letter A. So, this is 60 meters. Tapos, ano, ano pa sabi? Okay. Okay, nag-intersect daw sila at station 4,310 at elevation na ano elevation? 238 meters. 238 meters. Tapos, okay, station 285. Ah, wait. Nalito ako. Ah, okay, wait. Sorry. 240 this is 240 meters. Tapos nag-pass daw yung ating curve sa point A na ang station is 4,285. Na may elevation na 200, 238. Okay? Meters. Yan. So hanapin natin length of curve dun sa side ng ating forward tangent. Okay. So, na, so natin pwedeng mahanap yun sa H. Tama ba? Kasi doon lang naman mayroong L2. So, um, ang ating H is equals to L1 multiplied by L2 multiplied by G1 plus G2 over 2 multiplied by L1 plus L2. So, meron tayong ano? L1. L2, wala. Wala natin H. So, pwede natin i-substitute yung iba pang equation para sa H. So, saan tayo makakarap nun? Dito, sa Y1. Itong Y1 na to. So, kunin natin yung Y1. Para sa, sa, sa equation. So, yung Y1 over X1 squared is equals to H. Yan. Over L1 squared. Para makuha natin yung H. Okay. So, dito, meron tayong, ano dito eh? Okay, elevation. So, makukuha natin itong y1. Kunin na lang natin yung ano? Yung elevation ng ating a prime. So, parang ano lang to example number 1 sa uh, symmetrical curve. So, kunin natin itong letter a. So, this is letter a. Then, ito may distance. Okay? So, ito siya. So, letter a... Ito naman distance na 285 and 310. So, ilan yun? That is 25 meters. Okay? And this is 6.5%. Uh, so, this is G1. Therefore, ang ating A is equals to 25 multiplied by G1 na 6.5%. Okay? So, ang ating A is equals to 1.625 meters. So, makuha natin yung Y1. Okay? So, ang elev, kunin natin yung elev ng A prime. 
Eleb of A prime is equals to 240 multiplied by A na 1.625. So, this is what? Okay, 238. Point? 375 meters. So, makuha natin y, y1 which is equals to elevation ng A prime na 238.375 minus elevation ng A na 238. So, ang ating Y1 is equals to 0.375 meters. So, makuha natin H dito. So, H Okay, medyo mahaba pa yung solution. Dito na lang. So, H is equals to L1. Ang L1 natin is 60 squared multiplied by Y1 na 0.375 over X1 na Okay. So, X1 natin is 60. Tama ba? Wait lang. Ang X1 natin is 60. Hiwalay na lang natin. Para di ka nalilita. So, 60 squared multiplied by 0.375 over X1. Ang x1 natin 60 meters minus itong length na to. Tama ba? Ito. Which is equal to 25 meters. So, ilan ang ating x1? Uh, wait, 15 meters? Teka lang. 35? 15. <laughs> 35 meters. So, this is 35 squared. So, h is equals to 1.102 meters. Ayan. So, substitute na lang natin dito para makuha yung L1. So, 1.102 is equals ay, L2 pala. Sorry. L1. Ano? L1 natin 60 multiplied by L2 multiplied by G1 na 6.5% plus G2 na 4% over 2 multiplied by L1 na 60 plus L2. So, makuha natin L2. Ang L2 natin is 32. Point 285 meters. Yan. Okay? So, letter B. Determine the stationing of the highest point of the curve. Okay? Sabi natin, andito siya. Yan. HP. At distance S from PBC. So, check natin muna. If yung ating H is greater than or equal uh, or less than. So, ang ating H is equals to 1.102 meters. Samantalang, ang ating G1 multiplied by L1 over 2. Ang G1 natin is 6.5. Ang L1 natin is 60 meters. So, ilan ang G1 over L2 natin? That is 1.95 meters. So, since ang ating H is less than G1 multiplied by L1 over 2. Therefore, ang gagamit natin na S is okay, G2. Ayan. Multiplied by L2 squared over 2H. So, magagaling na tayo sa ano? Ito na yun. Sa, from PBT na siya. Okay? Ito na siya. So, uh, ito yung S. Ito yan is magiging L minus S. Okay? So, ang S natin is G2, that is 4%, multiplied by L2 na 32 point, saan yun? 285, squared over 2H. H natin is 1.102. So, ang ating S is equals to 18.917 meters from PVT. Okay? Okay? 